Yes. So, Ambassador Hersey. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, uh, thank you very much for having me today. Yes, I thank you very much, Mr. Farido, for coming to this event. It's a great. It was a really a great event. It's the 18th of May, 2022. I'm here in Parliament Square because today is Somaliland Independence Day, and I'm going inside in just a moment to attend an event which is celebrating Somaliland Independence Day, which is going to be attended by lots of dignitaries, members of Parliament, an ambassador, and a foreign secretary, maybe, we'll see. It's gonna be great. Come along inside with me. Hi everyone, Editing Fredo here. Uh, just as we walk through to the Jubilee Room, I wanted to let you know that that's a room which is just off of Westminster Hall, the very oldest part of the Palace of Westminster. And as you'll see, once the event starts, the room gets very full. Now, I did my best to capture the sound on the day, but it was difficult because there was so much background noise. So I have created some English subtitles, some closed caption subtitles. So if you have any trouble understanding what's being said, turn those on and hopefully that will help. Okay. See you inside. First of all, let me welcome every single one of you to this event, uh, Somaliland Independence Day. Honored guests, on behalf of the Somaliland mission to the UK, and the Somaliland community in the UK, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude and appreciation to you for honoring us to celebrate with us as guests to mark the 31st anniversary of Somaliland Commemorial, Ladies May Commemorial. Somaliland has been through an enormous struggle and it is right that we all work so hard in order to be able to make sure that that struggle is understood and actually how it can be resolved by actually properly recognising uh, Somaliland. This is within our reach but it can only be made to happen if we give the dedication, the commitment and continue to make the arguments. The bond between Britain and Somaliland is such a deep one, it's such a long one, and we should be incredibly proud of it. But because of that, I think it is duty bound on Britain to be the country that leads the way to make the arguments to talk about Somaliland with a passion and a sense of duty uh, and a sense of debt for what so many Somalilanders have done for us, whether that is fighting the First World War or the Second World War, but also about being our friends. And I know, and I think I can speak for all parties and members of Parliament, there's a real sense of unity, whether you're Conservative or Labour, uh, about a sense and a need to see that change. And we are all so committed to trying and fighting to make sure that that happens. And our pledge is, and Gavin is absolutely right, this is a cross-party objective across Parliament, to continue that fight with you until it is won. I want to come back before I cease to be an MP and come to a meeting in this room with Somalilanders throughout our country and say, we have achieved our goal. Somaliland is now recognised as an independent country. <laughs> Dr. Kay, it's very, uh, it's an honor to have you on one of my YouTube videos. Uh, I just, what would you want to say to the, to the world watching this about Somaliland and the case for recognition? Somaliland is a country in East Africa. It's a country, the most stable, democratic, safe, good to invest, good to come country. We are a uh, please fulfill all the criteria of the country. We have about five million people. We have our own currency. We have our own police and military force. Uh, we have our 
own judicial system, our own parliament. We're the only African country, maybe, that had consecutive four or five presidential election where the uh, the power was transferred safely and freely. And we're the only country that has three political party. And as a matter of fact, we're the only country that has elections, one person, one vote, and more than that, we actually had elections using the biometric, the Irish biometric. And uh, with all fairness, you can tell that uh, the vote was not rigged at all, because the uh, opposition party won the parliament, most of the parliament seat. That doesn't happen in Africa. So that, that, that tells you that tells you how this country is running. I mean, it, it is a very democratic, very free, and uh, it is a country that refused to have fundamental extremists in their country. We did not have piracy in our shore. Our boys and girls, men and women are equally educated and for the first time, as a matter of fact, this year, the University of Hargeisa has graduated more women than me. What do we have to offer as a country? The democracy is something that a lot of countries in Africa cannot claim they can offer. We have that democracy, that liberty, that security and stability that a lot of African countries cannot offer. Can you tell us a bit about yourself personally? Because when I listen to you speak, you sound slightly American to me. I think you <laughs> lived in America. Yeah. Where, where, where have you lived? So I, I was born in the bush. Right. <laughs> Very far. Uh, grew up in Djibouti a little bit. All right. I've been to Djibouti. Yeah. Yeah, very hot. Yeah, and then, uh, then in Marseille. Right, oh, Marseille. Yeah. Okay, France. France. Then went to Canada, Ontario, Ottawa. Okay. And then end up at, in Boston, Massachusetts. Right. Yeah. The last, uh, all together, about 35 years between Ottawa, 10 years in Ottawa, and 25, 29 years in Boston, Massachusetts. Right, so you feel a real connection with America and, of course, with your own country. Uh, of course, yeah. It's a great thing to have yeah. as a foreign minister. Right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I've been in America with the president, yeah. and you can tell that uh, the current was flowing yeah. very well. Yeah, I won't take up any more of your time, but I really, really appreciate you talking. And, uh, Thank you very yeah. much. And, uh, yeah, super. Red Sox. Yeah, yeah. Braves. Yeah. Braves. Yeah. I'm deputy representative of Taiwan, uh, a Taipei representative office in the United Kingdom. Excellent. And could you tell us about the importance of the relationship between uh, Taiwan and Somaliland? Oh, uh, Taiwan and Somaliland, uh, th there are many comments between us. Uh, we both love, uh, we support freedom, democracy, and peace. And uh, we, we have many in common. And uh, we both, uh, economically, we could uh, cooperate with each other and to complement each other. So there is a lot of uh, potential for us to deepen our relation with uh, Somalia. Oh, I'm not sure you're all in. Me? Yeah. <laughs> You're next up. Wait, can I can I film myself being no problem? No problem. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm Fredo Rockwell. I'm a YouTuber and I'm making a YouTube video right now as we're filming this interview. And uh, yeah, I make videos about lots of countries, but especially about Somaliland. Okay. Uh, is this the first time that you've come to an 18 May event? It's the first time I've come to an 18 May event, yeah. Uh, yeah. I've been to other celebrations, but this is the first one. How are you finding this one? Uh, brilliant, yeah. It's, it's been great. And it's been great to see uh, so much support from members of Parliament uh, coming down and the members of the House of Lords and all the people from all over Somalia and Diaspora have come today. It's been wonderful. Perfect. Are we going to get you to visit Somaliland one day? Uh, there's talk of that. I'd like to. I'd like to. I get lots of invitations, so I'd like to take them up. Yeah. Definitely. What do you look forward to seeing from Somaliland next in terms of future steps? Well, I mean, I know that there are some elections coming up at some point, and I'm sure they'll be successful, but the main thing I think is I'd like to see my country, the United States, at least informally uh, strengthen its relationships with Somaliland and then hopefully go the next step to full-blown recognition. And then I live in the UK, 
and I don't think there's any reason why the UK shouldn't do the same thing. Perfect. Thank you very much from us okay. here at Somalia National TV. All right, thank you. This is my friend Europe who invited me uh, along with Ambassador Hersey and his staff uh, to this event. But I, I've met you, uh, I haven't put this in the video yet. I met you when um, I emailed you uh, after my second video just to introduce myself. And you've been incredibly friendly to me ever since and nice and generous. And just wanted to say thank you. Thank you very much. And you are more welcome all the time. Invite your friends to join us. <laughs> we have more rooms for everybody. Thank right. you very much for okay. your contribution. No problem. Thank you. Okay, hey, it's my friend, Boss, Mohammed Boss. Yes. Yeah, how is your happy today is, day? Today, happy uh, 18 May. Yes. Celebration. Today is a very joyous day. It's the 31st anniversary of our independence. Uh, we wish everybody, all the Somalilanders and our friends, happy, happy uh, 18 May. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Khudan Abdali. I like to say to my people, Somalilanders, happy, happy, happy 18th May. Long life Somaliland. Long life Somaliland. And thank you, Mr. David, you're always here for us. Thank you. Oh. Somaliland and we are very uh, grateful grateful to help us all the time and you supporting us and we are I want to like to say uh, happy 18 May all the Somaliland and I'm grateful to say to you thank you very much the way you helping us and we say to you we will remember that and we will come in you in Somaliland anytime you want to come to Somaliland thank you very much yeah, thank you I would like to take this opportunity to say happy celebrations 18th of May to all Somalilanders from top to bottom. Um, it's a big day for us. Um, I think next year this time, I hope Somaliland will be recognized. I thank you very much, Mr. Farido, for coming to this event. It's a great it was a really a great event. We made it, we done it, and we celebrated for for 31 years of regaining our independence. Yeah, congratulations. I was witness with the 30 years of the Union and the 30 years of the independence. And this will not happen again. We will never ever give up again our independence. We will go forward. We will go forward. And I'm very grateful that today so many delegates from Lords, MBs, embassies, the cream of the Somaliland here in the British Somaliland are all around. And I am very much interested today. And today I am as happy as anything. This is the one of the best day, day, days of me. You know. Thank you so much. Thank you. So it's the next morning, the day after the event, which took place in Parliament, uh, celebrating Somaliland's Independence Day. Uh, and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for inviting me, for, to Ambassador Hersey and to his staff. And it was lovely to meet uh, Foreign Minister Kaid again, and to meet all the many people from Somaliland, from all over the United Kingdom. And I wanted to wish everyone in Somaliland a happy 31st anniversary of de your Declaration of Independence, your, your second one. And I'm sure that worldwide recognition of your independence is just around the corner. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And I know that worldwide recognition is coming just around the corner.